Hello and welcome to our guide to using the Microsoft Translator app. This app can support any learners, staff or parents who speak additional languages or who are learning additional languages. There are various different features which we will cover. Firstly, we're going to have a look at the keyboard feature. Now, to make sure that you have downloaded this onto your device, you can see that this app has a logo which is green and has characters and arrows on it. As you can see, there are various different icons with different functions. If you click on the keyboard icon, this is where you can type to translate. As you can see along the bottom here, we've got English into Ukrainian, but you can change this into French, you can change it into Polish, or any other language that's available. As you can see, there are a wealth of different languages, and the most commonly or recently used ones will be up at the top for you to use again. Then when you can type in, and you'll see that this will translate instantly for you. If we close this and go back to the home page, if you look at the bottom left-hand corner where there's a little clock logo, you'll see all of the different things that you have typed previously into this app, and you can pin things to have a look at conversations that have been important previously. So it means that they have a little word bank or conversation bank um, that learners or staff can go back to and look at at a later date. Next, we're going to look at live speech translation so that you can have conversations that will be translated in real time. If you want to translate a live conversation, all you need to do is click on the microphone. As you can see, I've picked at the bottom um, English to translate into French and I've clicked single, which just means that it's only going to pick up what I'm saying and translate that in real time to the French language. Once I have clicked on my microphone, it will pick up what I am saying and it will also pick up pauses so that when I have finished a sentence, it will automatically translate that. Good morning. How are you? Bonjour. Comment vas -tu? What I can also do is split my conversation. So if I go to split here, you can see that it's split my screen. English at the bottom and French on the top. What I can also do is click this little twirl button and it will put the screen the other way round. And that means that I can sit with a person sitting in front of me. And as soon as I click the microphone, it will translate everything that I am saying on their screen into their language. And again, as you can see, there are a wealth of different languages to choose from. Good morning. How are you? Доброго ранку. Як справи? This will work both ways. As long as someone clicks the microphone button before they start talking, this means that a conversation can be translated in live time without the need of an interpreter or a translator. Now we're going to look at how to have group conversations that will translate multiple languages at once. Now, as usual, although it is a Microsoft app, we still would advise using nicknames um, and using this part of the app with discretion and also keeping an eye on learners who are using this with each other as it is a, a group chat. However, it does have some really useful features in it, particularly if you're working with a group of learners who have English as a second language, but there are various different languages within that group. So if you click on the two people speaking and you start a conversation, you can pop in your name and again, just put it in as a nickname. You could give assign your learners a number and you write in here, what is the language that you speak? So when you go into this conversation, it will give a QR code for participants to scan if they are clicking join here, they can also pop in the code. So this conversation code is um, it appears here, but there's also a scan tool as well. So if I click the mic to talk, what will happen is this will translate into my language. And when it is sent to the other person that is participating in the conversation, they will see that translated into their language. This means that you can have multiple participants in the conversation who speak different languages and everything that is said within this conversation will all be translated into the appropriate language that they have chosen within their app. 
Now we're going to look at how to use the camera function to translate a document or piece of text. The camera tool is another amazing tool that will translate something that has already been typed or created, such as a worksheet, into whatever language very, very quickly. So we can have a look at a book that a learner might read, focus by clicking on the area, and as you can see, it will translate that text over the top of it so they can still see the parts of the book, but the text sits over the top. Then what we can also do is click the pin button that's down at the left hand corner and click close. And this means that this actually creates a sort of document or um, worksheet for them within the app, which they can then go back and access when they click on the little clock button and again go to pinned. And this will come back with the translation um, at any point in time that they want that until that's deleted off their, uh, from their history. As always, we hope you found this video guide useful. Please keep us up to date with what you are doing with digital tools in your schools by contacting us at DigiLearnPKC on Twitter.